Today on Small Business Sunday, we're gonna be talking all about how to use social media to your advantage and how to grow your business with your video content. What's up everybody, my name's Jason from Night Owls Media and Four Love Films and today we're gonna to be talking all about how to use social media for your video marketing for your business. So let's not make a long video out of this and let's jump right in and talk about some important aspects about your social media marketing. Make sure you're choosing the right platform. If you haven't already, make sure you check out my awesome video about social media platforms, about the pros and cons of working with each one with video content. But make sure you're picking the right platform for your brand. And make sure you're not just picking it because it's the one everyone else does or it's the one that you like the most, which is gonna get in front of the most eyes for your brand. Now we all love to promote our business, but make sure you don't over promote. There is such a thing as audience burnout, where if a potential clientele will see your brand too often, they'll not only become turned off by the content you're creating, but also the content creator themselves. The amount of times I've been advertised at on Facebook for products that I really don't care about, it's really annoying to see some of these advertisements come up and I have ill feelings towards some of the businesses themselves. So the general rule of thumb is posting once a day is perfect. You do this to keep in the eyes and in the front of people's minds when they're thinking of your brand or your service or your product, but also you're not bombarding them with so much that they literally do not like you because of it. Rule of thumb, one post per brand per day. Build a community. And by building a community, I don't mean just get followers. I mean building people who are actually engaging with your product. The amount of brands I've seen online that have thousands and thousands of followers, but there's zero engagement on their posts, that doesn't mean anything to me. I would rather have a minimal amount of followers and a lot of engagement in my content because I know I am talking to people and I'm pushing those buttons to get them to communicate back. And nothing will sell your service or your product faster than engagement. Share photos and videos. Someone else posted something awesome? Ooh, someone did a review of you. Someone is inside your store taking video. These are fantastic things. Grab those videos and photos and share them. Don't just repost them, share them from the original account. One, you're not stealing their content, but two, you're engaging them by saying, hey, we love what you did. When I do a behind the scenes video and I'm showing my camera gear and I tag some of the brands in it, the brands that write back to me or reshare my story, that is immensely satisfying as a client of their brand. It really makes me feel like that brand, that business, that corporation gives a shit about my opinion. On that note, comment on other people's posts. And one of the worst things you could do is comment on someone else's post and then say, hey, you should come like my page or come buy this thing. It's super annoying and tacky. Just comment on other people's posts. Follow other hashtags that align with your business. Go to their Instagram post, go to their Facebook post, go to their social media posts and comment on them saying, that's an awesome photo or wow, that looks so tasty. By doing that, you're engaging with them and they're more likely to engage with you, which starts a waterfall effect. Every video you post should add value to your social media content or your brand. Whether you're introducing a new line of products, you're introducing some kind of education to your clientele, or maybe you're just building your brand up in the eyes of everyone, but it needs to show value. If it's just more content, people are way easier just to scroll by than to stop and actually pay attention to it. I would love to know what you guys think about these lists or about these videos in general. Make sure you write down in the comments below some awesome things that you have learned from this series or some things that you would love to learn from this series. I wanna know your opinions. On that note, constantly encourage engagement in your audience. To be completely honest, I don't just say those things because I know it's important for social media. I say it because I honestly wanna know your opinions and your thoughts, and if I could teach something or if I could help something, I wanna know what you guys want to learn. But it'll also focus your endeavors and how you should remanage your sales techniques to your clientele. Create a social media calendar. This one took me way too long to figure out. Before I set up my social media calendar, I would remember about one o'clock, two o'clock, three o'clock, seven o'clock, midnight, that I should post something to social media. Now, 
Every morning when I get my coffee, before I actually start my day of work, I will sit down and I will run through my social media checklist so I know that that is taken care of at the beginning of my day, it's being handled well, and by publishing earlier in the morning, your content is more readily available to be seen throughout the day by your audience. Today we're doing a quick behind the scenes of a vlog shoot that we're doing. We're gonna be discussing all about how to use social media marketing to your advantage using video. Check out our video this upcoming Sunday on Small Business Sunday. Eh? Those are stories. You should be doing stories a minimum of once a day. While typically your main Instagram page will act as a portfolio or some type of launching point from this to your website, your stories are the behind the scenes. This is how you actually engage with your audience and they get to know you as a human being and a fellow person that they might wanna work with. Through your stories, show off your personality. Whenever I do a story, I'm not acting, I'm not trying to be a character, I'm being myself. So you show off your personality and people will wanna work with you because of who you are. The amount of times I've gone to a store and I don't really want anything from the store, but the shop owner is really cool, well, sure, I'll try a third coffee from your coffee shop because you're a cool guy. I will buy that extra cookie that I know I shouldn't eat because you're a cool person and I wanna help you fund your business. The better you engage with people and the more likable you are to people, the more they want to shop with you. So what are some things that you'd use social media for that I didn't cover? Put them down in the comments, mostly for everyone else, but partly for my own gratification because I wanna learn more too. Make sure you like and subscribe so you're up to date on all our awesome videos. And until next time, be better, do something awesome today.